Hey everyone. Well, I'm here to share with you today how to watercolor that whimsical style landscape, but first I have to apply the masking fluid. This time I went with my lines a little bit wider, a little bit uh, further apart because I wanted more of that luscious green watercolor to settle in between all those lines. It really is so very pretty. So using the same masking fluid, the same crusty brush, and the medium 7x10 block, super simple you guys, that's why I want to breeze right through this part so we can begin the real-time watercolor part together. Hey everyone, I decided to do this part in time-lapse as well with the voiceover because I was talking to my son at the same time, so I thought why not go ahead and take care of this, just adding water onto the paper, and then we can begin the good stuff. Have I got a treat for you guys? All right, my friends, I'm gonna begin the same way that I did the last time, and that's gonna be with the lightest yellow, which is lemon yellow. And I'll just gently add that there. This is all wet onto wet. And I'll just take turns. I'm using the Paul Rubens half pan set. You can use whatever paints you like. I'm gonna warm that up with what I think might be the permanent orange or Indian yellow of the set. There we go. And then I'm gonna begin to dig right into the paints with the greens. This is exactly what I did the last time. And this is the fun part. You just, this is supposed to be whimsical and leaving some extra space in between the lines with the masking fluid makes it look really nice. So I believe that was a mixture of the sap green and this more permanent yellow green color. I'm gonna go in with a much more darker green. Down here, now I'm gonna begin to add blues to the mixture as well. I don't know, I think this is Prussian blue. Just what I did the last time. The darkest value colors I want them to be at the bottom. I'm not great with instructions, guys, so just bear with me here. I'm a little nervous. Let me grab my paper towel. I do want a nice darker blue down here, though, so let me activate the Windsor & Newton Paints Gray and Indigo colors. Those are from the professional line, in case you're wondering. And I, I mentioned that because um, there is a difference in the amount of pigment that, that we see. All right, so I believe that was the cobalt blue I just added there to whatever I had on the plate. And I'm just gonna go back and forth between yellows and look at that, beautiful. My goodness. Cat fur everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna have some of that down here because we do want the wet onto wet. So I'll even come down here with more of that Indian yellow-like color. Very pretty. More of the lemon yellow, too. We can add that in. All right. And I think the indigo and the paints gray is ready. I'm going to go with the indigo first. Oh, that's just so pretty. I love seeing the bits of yellow in here too. I do. 
All right, so I do want a rich, beautiful blue sky. Oh, that is really pretty. Look at that. And I'm trying to copy my own work here, but obviously it always comes out different. Let me go get some fresh water. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to need a little bit of help. So I'm going to put the roll of tape back there. That way I can keep all this wet onto damp and wet onto wet down here. But it's looking really nice. I haven't added anything else to it. I can begin working on the sky now. I am going to lightly remist this area up here. Actually, the whole page. It will get more water. <laughs> okay, I got my water here too. I just didn't want any of the green from this area to come up here. So I'm looking for some beautiful bright skies and I remember um, the cerulean blue and cobalt blue combination from the Paul Rubens gave me that for the original piece. And what I'll do is I'll darken it up. Look at that. Que rico. <laughs> Very delicious. <laughs> and as it goes down, I'll just blend it in gently. Gotta be a little careful here. I don't want any of that. I mean, a little bit of green around here. It happened in the original piece, so if it happens, it happens. It's all good. Isn't that gorgeous? Going in, going in. This is just so pretty. Just such a nice way to do some simple art. Gently bringing that blend down. You know, I don't mind some blending over here either. But right around here, I like for that to just stay super soft. So I'm going to try my best to... Don't touch. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to darken it up just a bit. I know this set brought its own indigo, but to be honest, this set has gotten really gritty over the past couple of months. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my water. Maybe it's the paint. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and darken these colors up. I'm mixing that indigo with a cerulean and cobalt blue. Look at that. Super juicy blue dark skies. Oh my. Lord, <laughs> that is gorgeous. All right. Oh my goodness. Lights out. You know, I can't do a whole tutorial without messing up in some way or another. So there's your first mess up, <laughs> followed by a couple more, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and, excuse me, let's go ahead and layer some more colors. I did not add any phthalo green. So let's go ahead and use this wet on to wet area that we have right there. And right here. I'm going to add just a bit more water up there. I'm pretty sure you'll notice a difference in lighting when I finally come back and show you the finished piece. Or it might even be tomorrow. I'm not sure. This is uh, the sap green from the set. I'm going right from the half pan onto the paper. Cleaning my brush off. to that lemon yellow. Ah, don't you hate it when that happens? That one little, whatever that is. All right, let's go ahead and 
dip it back into the greens. A darker PG8. And then back to the indigo, maybe even some Payne's gray. I'll use the same mixture that I used for the sky for the bottom. Look at that. See? Windsor at Newton works very well with uh, the Paul Rubens. Very pretty. All right, so whatever I have left here, let's just add it. Being very generous, as you can see. And a bit more of that. Look, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Okay. I need to get fresh water. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a few moments to move the block of paper around just to get some color going here. I usually have good luck with this tape, but a lot of color has pulled up there, so I might get some peep through of color there, and we see a little bit of the yellow coming up here. It's okay, I'm okay with that. This paper handles everything like a champ. Look at that gorgeous granulation. I'm gonna do this for just a few minutes, okay guys, because I want some of that beautiful beautiful granulation to come down here yep do this until you're satisfied okay I'm going to add a bit more yellow here in the middle you can see some blue began to come down I'm okay with that this is just a mixture of all three yellows and the set Depending on the look you want, you know, you'll, you can add a bit more color there. I'm thinking of adding some of this pretty orange color. I know I showed you the colors I'm using before, but these are the yellows I'm using. Right here, and then this is the orange. All right, so I'm gonna mix some of that orange. Dishes are done. <laughs> I want that middle area to be a bit more orange. I believe I used Indian red or burnt sienna for the previous one. This one, I want that bright orange color. And I'll just use some lemon yellow and whatever yellow this is to blend it out. I'm very aware that that blue is slowly trickling in. That is just so pretty. Should I leave it like that? leave it like that but I'll give it a little bit of a water juice <laughs> whatever that means all right so 
um, loving the darkness up at the top. Let me just add a bit more darkness at the bottom. So a bit more indigo and Payne's gray right down here. This is wet on to damp. I want full color payoff. And because I'm not going to use my heating tool, I'll get just that. I do want to add a bit of green to this area here. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. <laughs> Dry brush strokes, bits of color there. And I'll just use that right there. There we go. I think I'm done. I've got a good amount of color still left here. There we go. I'll use whatever blue is left here for right here. And I will do a quick pure lemon yellow right there. I want those thick layers of color to show through. I think that doesn't, yeah. Maybe just a bit more indigo right from the half pan. Oh, good luck with the tape. <laughs> All right, now it's the hardest part for me, for you guys. It'll be just like that. I know I mentioned I wanted it to be under 15. We're pushing 16 plus minutes now. But real time, this is good stuff right here. So I will see you when everything is ready to be uh, peel revealed. Okay? So by the window it goes. Okay. So I decided to put this outside on top of Thomas. Thomas has seen two generations of kids in this house so yeah oh it is so cold out here but this is where I have the piece drying so I can't wait to show you guys hey everyone voiceover Laura here again but sharing a little art video within the main art video I guess this is how it's going to be this is actually what kept me busy as the main art piece was outside drawing drying excuse me so i went ahead and uh, used whatever colors i had left over i did bring in a bit of yellow ochre and vermilion mixed together uh, for my name there i haven't watercolor lettered in so long and i took out uh, the u.s art supply brand sketchbooks it comes in a pack of two and the only thing that i don't like about this paper is the weight it is very thin but this paper is fantastic i highly highly recommend that you get yourself a set there's no affiliation i'm just sharing the good stuff and i very much enjoyed this impromptu art session again just keeping me busy while the main piece dries that's where i found out that tape and this paper don't get along very well but that's okay because this was just for fun and I just wanted to keep myself busy as the main art piece continued to dry and uh, yeah I'm just doing a little bit of blending truth be told well I'll share with you the truth about this uh, sketchbook in just a moment this was actually a lot of fun no you're not in a different art video we're still in the same video <laughs> I just wanted to show you the finished piece here that I did as this was drying outside. I went ahead and took out the U.S. Art Supply brand sketchbooks. It comes in a pack of two and I wish this paper was a bit thicker because I think it's 90 pound or maybe 100 or 110 pound at the most but the texture is oh my gosh I swear that's cotton paper. It's just thinner. <laughs> I had a blast with this uh, sketchbook and truth be told it's the back side, not the front side, because I, like many of us, got caught up with the whole, it has to be perfect, it has to be polished, and I just threw it out the door, and this was so much fun to do, and I was able to, for the first time, uh, do some watercolor lettering and some simple shapes here, 
this is fantastic i love it so <laughs> back to the main art piece here i went ahead and tested it out it is nice and dry so let me go ahead and take off all this uh, masking fluid and we can do the peer reveal together all right i think the tips of my fingers are polished from all the scraping off of the paper or rubbing off of the paper here so this part is never aesthetic for me so that's why i pressed the pause button and ooh, we did get quite a bit of uh, color out out of the tape line but you know what that's okay i'm fine this is all personal art and it's the experience that i had and i was even able to uh work in a sketchbook while this dried so hmm, quite a bit it's still beautiful though and i hope that if you do decide to try this um Please let me know because this has been so much fun. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. Let's compare it to the first one that I did. Yeah, and this one's definitely much more, I don't know, just, I was a bit more heavy handed. I mean, look at that, that is gorgeous. I'll bring you guys up close and then I'll let you go because, well, I was able to indulge after a pretty rough morning Look at that, isn't that pretty? I love <laughs> that bit of indigo and Payne's gray. So pretty, but the wispy part up here, the wet on so wet, that's my favorite. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pictures before the rest of the natural light goes down. I hope you enjoyed the video and the little impromptu sketchbook session. You'll probably see this uh, in the thumbnail photo uh, behind this one here. I had a fantastic time. So thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.